Yo, 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 my star citizens and new gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Mennings. And in today's episode, um, I had an heads up from um, Otterson uh, on my comment section, and I was doing um, a cargo run of Etam to from from the orphanage in Ariel in the Art Corp area to the disposal orinth in Hurston. So you're taking 10 minutes to get there. And so that's a bit of a um, bit of a trek. And, and when you get there, you can only sell 10 units. So at the orphanage, you can buy um, 50 units, but you can only sell them at 10 units every 10 minutes at the orinth. So you take 10 minutes to get there and then 40 minutes selling it on. So you're talking about an hour, um, 20 minutes, uh, uh, for an hour to sell um, 50 units, which is um, gonna gonna net you about. I just one sec. I don't want to end up crashing here. Which is gonna net you about um, a hundred thousand ish, something like that, um, profit. So. Otterson87 uh, has said to me that there was a place nearby in Walla that actually lets you sell it all um, in one go. So you don't have to wait 10 minutes per 10 units. So I thought I'd give it a go and it was uh, at Samson's and Sons on Walla. So, and because Walla is in the same area in Art Corp uh, as Arion, it's a smaller, it's a short trip. So I can, and on the same moon as Walla, I can buy Laranite at uh, uh, this uh, mining place, 45 here and, and, and 54. So I can get Laranite here, sell it over at uh, the orphanage, and then pick up Etam at the orphanage, and then come over to Samson's and Sons and sell that. And so far, I'd update the video and see what I can make in one run and how long it takes. So I'm here now at the um, Art Corp 45 mining area on Walla. So that's where I'm at, and I'm gonna. The controls are a bit messed up here, so I'm gonna um, see if it's worth doing. I, I think it will be worth doing. It's gonna be a lot quicker than I was doing it before. Um, like I say, if I just do one run and then you can see them from there. So I'm just gonna pick up the Laranite first here, and then uh, go and sell that at the orphanage, and then pick up the uh, Etam at the orphanage and sell that at uh, what's it called and Sons, and see what I can get. So let me grab the Laranite first. I've got about 160,000, so I've got to get to a point where I can actually um, have more and then and, and then fill up and sell it. So what I'm going to have to do for the time being is just sell what I can to get that money up. And then um, once I can get a full load, we'll see what we can get then from that. So yeah, so we hope you like this video, guys. A bit of a long intro. Uh, if you do like this video, don't forget to take that pointer and tickle that like button. And don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. Uh, we are in the PTU, but um, I thought this uh, information was great and would be good for when we move on to the 318 in proper use. And probably even just before the 318 uh, currently, like this would be a good run just in the 317.4. Uh, but yeah, for sure, this is, uh, this is for me going to be a game changer for me because I'll be able to earn money a lot faster on my normal run. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select my um, hull air with this new section and I'm going to pick the Laranite and get as many Laranite as I can. 64 units, it's going to cost me 160 grand. Exactly what I've got. <laughs> 64 units is all I can put on the ship anyway. So we're going to confirm that and we're getting that at uh, 2.5. I've got 160k so we'll see what we make profit wise on that. So I, if you want to know more about this this stuff i've just put out a video explaining uh this new uh screen and how it works so you can go and check that out i'll put the um card at the top now so let's go and sell this
Communications on. Cutlass Black there waiting for me, I think. So we've got a pirate waiting for me Contact to come out. See where this cut he is. You might know where I'm going, you see, with this Laranite. Let me set my location first and then see if we can get out of here. Uh, Art Corp. Go straight over to Lyria. I'm going to set the room. And then we're going to go to uh, the orphanage. I can find it. Try attacking me, but we'll see. Quantum travel engaged. Let's get out of here, guys.
So, um, on this run, guys, I'm not going to cut it. I want to see exactly, and you guys to see exactly how long it takes to get from each place. And then we'll go from there, basically. Just don't want to crash actually, really. Start pulling up a bit. past so let's just take that down let's go and find the orphanage now i think it's around here somewhere nope we've gone past it this controls is the controls are all messed up on my thing too fast I need to start slowing down a bit sooner get this landing gear down all my controls are all over the show in this this part so so I've got a full thing of Laranai that I'm gonna sell here now and then let's see where we are Um, I've got a full cargo of Laranai that I'm going to sell, and then I'm going to get a full, as much E-time as possible. The fact that we can not have to wait to sell it is going to be massive for me. So let's do this. The risk here is the two places where we're buying it and selling it are not in armistice zone, so you're definitely open to piracy. And um, you know, getting getting your stuff taken. So it's definitely a, it's gonna have to be quick for you to do it. Let's give this a go. So I sell this Laranite, and then go from there. So you see the boxes are got a grey, red there. They have different colour boxes for different things. So if I was to get agriculture supplies, the boxes are green. So let's go in here and let's sell this. Pull here. Do not need to select that, but there it is. And then we've got all this laminate here, which we can sell all in one go. So I'm going to make 38k on that one there. So let's do that, sell all that. So we've made. Thirty-eight k. Have we? Yeah, we've made thirty-eight k, thirty-eight point four k. So that is a massive amount. We just earned there, and then we select the other end, grid again. We don't need to select the grid on this one because we're not doing what's it called. So I'm gonna. We can get twenty-three units, which is one hundred ninety-five grand. It's not a full load, but it is a full load in something like the um, in the nomad so the norm that would that would basically fill a nomad so if, as a starter ship with the nomad you can get 24 units in to the back of the nomad and if i was selling that over at the reclamation it would take me about 20 uh 20 minutes 25 minutes uh to 30 minutes to sell it and then the 10 minutes to get over there and i would generally make about seventy thousand on that so we'll see what we make here and if i can sell it all in one go that is an, ab an, an added bonus as well not having to wait 25 minutes to sell it is a big difference if i make I made 30 on the laranai or 38 on the laranai if i make 70 i've just made 100 grand in less than 10 minutes which means you, you're looking at half a million in in like an in in an hour. On. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the players first. Here we go, and it's literally right next to where I'm at. So we'll go to Walla, and then we we'll go to um, 
um, thingy and sons, salvage and sons, Samson and sons, salvage. And that's it, basically. We head up into the sky and we go. Oh, my screens are off for some reason. All the systems are off, so it's fine. It's just we're in MPTU at the moment, but this will work on normal. This will work on the normal one. So let me spin this round. Oh, man. It's hard with these controls, but so you can add you know a couple of minutes of that extra if you already got controls. Control of your controls. If you can hear the noise in the background, it's my cat messing around. Like I say, I'm not going to um, cut any of this stuff. I want to see exactly how long it takes to make this one run. Uh, even though I've only got a third of cargo, I can work out from there what I can actually sell and what I can actually make. So yeah, we're going to keep this going. Like I say, even though this is PTU, it actually is this this route would work just in the normal the normal um first now in the 17 so yeah so it's definitely worth giving a try but well i mean it's not really i mean give it a try but it's not really worth doing anything at the moment because the wipes come in soon anyway so but this will be an amazing way to start building credits up once the wipe comes So yeah, I've only got a third full, basically, so it's all good. But if I make 70 grand here, which is basically 100 grand altogether, then um, that in that like less than 10 minute run, that's brilliant. That's such a good, such a good run. So, like I said, it is out of armistice zones as well, so that's another issue you've got to look at. And I've got um, squiffy controllers, like it keeps changing on me from one, one stick changes to the other stick halfway through the game. So, that's also... At taking time so I reckon I could knock a couple of minutes off because of that in that time so I'm being a bit more cautious with it get that gear down So I can start going in. And there is no landing pads on this, but that's the same as the reclamation or in. So if you've seen my other video on this medium cargo run, um, it's the same run. It's the same thing. I'm doing the same thing, except so instead of going to the disposal or in, I'm coming here to Samson and Sons salvage on Walla. 
which is in the same area as, Ar as in Art Corp. It's just a different moon as Ariel. So you've got Ariel where I pick it up from and Walla where I'm going to drop it off instead of going all the way over to Hurston to drop it off. This is a good run. So let's get this done. Light should start coming up soon. There we are. I say I'm just taking it a bit more cautiously because the controls are all over the show, so I reckon I could knock, knock a couple of minutes off this anyway. Let's take this down. Forward a bit, take it down again. Oh yeah. Nah. So let's get rid of it, get it out of here and see what we sell it for. So I picked up the Laranite, made 38,000. When I picked up the Laranite, I had 160,000. So if I, once I sell this, if I've got 260,000, then we made a hundred grand on that run, basically. And it took about 10 minutes, I think. Which means it could be a 60,000, uh, 600,000 an hour run. All right, so here we go, guys. Let's see what we can sell this for. Let's have a look. So, hold there. We've got 23 units of ETAM. There we are. I'm going to sell all of them. All 23. Normally, it will take a bit of uh, selling. And we're going to sell it for 258. So, just short of the 260. So, basically, we made 100 grand just on that. But, obviously, um, if I'm going to sell that. And there we go. 261. So, yeah, we made... 100,000 100, but that was only with a one third of the whole air so we made 70,000 on the um, ETAM with one third so if he was to triple that that would be 140 uh, 140 uh, 210 210 thousand I could make in less than 10 minutes with the whole air so basically, with 200, 200 grand in in 10 minutes is, yeah, we're looking at close to a million in an hour. So this run could make, could net us a million an hour if my maths are right. So if we're getting 70 on one third, so 70, 140, 210, yeah, definitely 210. Plus the 38 on the um, Laranite. So 250-ish. Close to 250-ish. In 10 minutes. Let's say 15 minutes tops. Definitely a million an hour. This run could earn you a million an hour. With a hull air. Obviously if you've got bigger ships. You can earn more. And yeah. So it, this is a great starter route as well. For someone say. If you've got something like a nomad with only 24 say we was only able to sell the laranite for a third because obviously we filled up the hull air which is three times as much as as a nomad so if we made twelve thousand on the laranite and then seventy thousand on the etam your nomad could earn you eighty thousand nearly ninety thousand in that one run as well so you could so you can earn um, half a million with um, or just under half a million with just Nomad and obviously Nomad's going to be a little bit faster than that as well so that is definitely a better run a million an hour in an, in, in this um, imagine if you can fill it up with um, with a, like a, a C2 I know you can only get 5,000 ETAM which is basically what you'll get with this but yeah, close to a million an hour. That's good. 
with with just the hull here. So when 318 fully drops, this could be a run where you want if you want to earn money for ships. This this could be the run. So this is a really good run, you know. Um, uh, thanks th thanks to um, the to the guy that that um, that mentioned that. Uh, what's he called? Ottoman, I think he was called. So thanks to Ottoman for that uh, information. That is such a good run and um, blows away the run that I was doing before where I was going to the other place. So I've got half, you know, I've got quarter of a million now. Just I made a hundred thousand in that one run. That's that's good. That is very very good. So I could carry on and doing more runs and fill up that whole air now. I only took a third of that then and made a hundred grand. So well. So that's an update on that one. Um, definitely a more viable uh, option for when you're first starting. Start off with smaller runs and just build up until you can find, until you've got enough to buy the full cargo. But for smaller ship runs, you can definitely earn some money. You definitely earn some money to start earning to get bigger ships and doing bigger cargo runs. And maybe then if you want to jump into mining or salvaging or whatever from that, so definitely, yeah. So we hope you like that one, guys. Um, we, we hope it helps you out. Uh, thanks to Ottoman for that. I, I'm going to get his name because I think it was Ottoman. Let me just grab his name because he, he deserves the shout out for that. Um, yeah, uh, Otterson87. So thanks to Otterson87 for that, that tip. Um, brilliant tip. And uh, we hope it helps you guys out as well. So yeah. We like that one, guys, and uh, we'll see you out in the verse.